Hi, I'm here with our chief engineer, Rich Hantis, who's going to work with me today on installing up to eight different samples in our variable angle thin film holder. We're using a mock-up of the polarization toolbox for this demonstration. Uh, so Rich is going to start um, with a sample that you might be likely to use, a nice square, relatively thin um, colored piece. And so he's now installed this into the instrument. Um, and again, ordinarily this would be under computer control and you'd be able to adjust the angle. Uh, and in this instance, we are sitting such that our light would be coming in from on this side and either hitting the sample and reflecting out to a detector here or Rich, go ahead and rotate it so that it could be a transmission measurement. It would travel from this port straight through to a port over here. All right, so now we'll try a second sample of a different dimension. And in this case, we have a much shorter sample uh, that's slightly thicker. And that fits in quite nicely. All right, Rich, thank you. And what you're doing is you're simply sliding away this mechanism here Correct. in order to adjust the thickness of this space. Yes. And you're simply just doing that, obviously pushing it with your thumbs. Here we have a larger piece. And it can be locked in place with these. All right. Go ahead. And that piece was roughly... Two inches square? Six, two inches square by about six millimeters thick. Okay. Here we have a thinner piece that's taller. Obviously no tools are required uh, to do this work and lifting the sample out um, is quite straightforward. And now we'll go to a considerably larger piece necessitating the uh, greater distance Sing of the uh, holding block, and now we have a piece about as large as we would go um, for this particular setup. Okay, and then we're going to transition to a round piece of a certain thickness, and again, just put that in place. I want to transition to a smaller diameter. Right. So now Rich is removing this block that is machined for holding the sample upright, either which is flat base or round. And now he's put two little screws on here to form a ledge for a round sample to sit. He's turned this holder around, so now something round can be accommodated. And now we have a nice small filter sitting in place here, something that you might commonly use, okay? Lifting that out now and putting in a very small filter that's in a holder to accommodate it. There we have that, okay. That's our last one. And then we have a very thin round one for holding that. So clearly the instrument is capable of holding a variety of sample types, diameters, dimensions, sizes um, with ease. Thank you.